The Indian Air Force IAF is currently evaluating the purchase of 12 retired Mirage 2000 to 5 fighter jets from Qatar, a move intended to strengthen its combat fleet as the IAF's aging MiG fighters approach retirement. Negotiations, initiated following Qatar's offer in June 2024, are currently underway, but the two nations have encountered differences over the pricing of the jets. This prospective acquisition aligns with India's efforts to retain a capable and diversified air force in light of emerging strategic challenges. Qatar's Mirage 2000-5 fleet includes nine single-seat and three dual-seat aircraft, delivered in 1997. These aircraft, which participated in NATO's Operation Odyssey Dawn over Libya in 2011, have been meticulously maintained and are estimated to retain significant operational life. The acquisition would potentially bolster the IAF's existing two squadrons of Mirage 2000s, enhancing fleet uniformity and simplifying logistical support. The Mirage 2000s have been upgraded to meet current operational standards and would complement India's existing Mirage 2000 fleet. However, Qatar's recent modernization efforts with more advanced jets like the Boeing F-15QA and Eurofighter Typhoon have reduced the country's reliance on the Mirage 2000, allowing it to make these jets available for sale. A key obstacle in the negotiations has been the pricing of the jets. Qatar has placed a price tag of 4 billion 160 million Indian rupees, approximately $49.9 million per aircraft, whereas the IAF is aiming for a lower price of around 3 billion Indian rupees, approximately $36 million, which would also include spare engines and additional MICA air-to-air -air missiles. This discrepancy has sparked a debate within the IAF over the immediate necessity of the acquisition especially as some officials favor focusing resources on the development of the indigenous Tejas MKI fighter. The Tejas MKII, once operational, promises an extended service life of up to 40 years and could offer reduced long-term costs for the IAF. However, as the Tejas MKI is still in the development phase, the Mirage 2000-5 acquisition may serve as a timely interim solution for the IAF's operational needs. India initially pursued the Mirage 2000 in the 1980s as a countermeasure to Pakistan's F-16 fleet. In 1982, the IAF ordered 36 Mirage 2000H and 4 Mirage 2000 aircraft from Dassault, and these were delivered between 1985 and 1994. Although there were discussions about domestic production, India ultimately chose to continue its partnership with the Soviet Union, resulting in the acquisition of MiG-29 fighters instead. By 2011, India approved an extensive upgrade to its Mirage 2000 fleet, bringing them to the Mirage 2000-5 MK.2 standard with improved avionics, radar systems, electronic warfare capabilities, and the integration of MICA missiles. The Mirage 2000 has been pivotal in several key operations, demonstrating versatility and effectiveness. During the 1999 cargo war, the aircraft played a crucial role in Operation Safe Sagar, conducting over 500 sorties against enemy positions. It was deployed again in 2001 to 2002 to target Pakistani bunkers during a period of heightened tensions, and in 2019, 12 Mirage 2000s participated in a high-profile airstrike against an alleged terrorist camp in Balakot. More recently, during the 2020 standoff with China, Mirage 2000 is were deployed along the line of actual control following the Galwan Valley clash, underscoring the aircraft's enduring value to the IAF. The Mirage 2000 is a single-seat multirole fighter, measuring 14.36 meters in length, with a wingspan of 9.13 meters and a height of 5.2 meters. Powered by a Snecma M53 P2 turbofan engine, it achieves a thrust of 64.3 knots when dry and 95.1 knots with afterburner, allowing it to reach speeds of Mach 2.2 at high altitude. The aircraft has a range of 1,550 kilometers and a service ceiling of 17,060 meters. For armament, the Mirage 2000 carries two 30mm DEFA 554 revolver cannons and supports 6,300 kg of external stores, which include air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, as well as guided bombs. Its Thompson CSF RDY radar system provides multi-target tracking capabilities, and the aircraft is compatible with tactical nuclear weapons such as the ASMPA missile. This extensive weapon suite and advanced avionics make the Mirage 2000 a formidable asset in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground roles. As discussions with Qatar continue, the IAF must weigh the benefits of purchasing the Mirage 2000-5S against the potential of investing further in domestic options like the Tejas MKII. The Mirage 2000's historical track record, robust performance, and operational reliability make it an attractive option to meet the IAF's current needs. However, with the cost of advanced fighters rising, 
the IEF will need to carefully assess the cost-effectiveness, strategic value, and compatibility of the Qatari Mirage 2000s with India's evolving defense goals. Should the IEF finalize the purchase, its Mirage 2000 fleet would expand to 60 aircraft, ensuring a continued and capable backbone for India's aerial defenses. However, with budget constraints and strategic autonomy also in play, the decision remains a complex balancing act between immediate readiness and future self-reliance in defense technology.